there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today we're gonna to talk about how to change someone's eye color in Photoshop. Um, now this is something that's not really going to be used you know, maybe very often in your editing, um, but I had someone write to me and ask me, um, she told me that she has two little girls and one of them has brown eyes and one of them has blue eyes and she thought it would be fun to swap their eye color and see how they looked um, you know, with the opposite color. So today I'm gonna to show you how you would do that. So um, I've got two photos, one of a uh, girl with light eyes and then one of a girl with brown eyes. So I'm gonna show you how to do um, an eye adjustment on both photos. Okay, so as you can see in this one, this girl has um, sort of blue green eyes. There's a little bit of brown near the center, um, but we're gonna um, adjust her eyes very similar to how we would adjust the eye color of the girl with brown eyes. Um, but you'll see as we jump in here. So um, when you have your photo open, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this little half black, half white circle at the bottom of your layers panel and hit hue saturation. Um, now when this panel pops up, you are going to choose colorize and then you are going to, um, your layer mask should already be selected. The layer mask is this white box right here on the layer. And I'm just going to hit control or command I to remove that effect from the photo. We're just gonna hide that for now, and then we're gonna paint in, since our layer mask is black, we're gonna paint with white anywhere we want um, the effect to show up. Now the color that, that we have set is just the default. We're gonna adjust it as we go in here, um, but what we're gonna do first is just paint this onto her eyes so that as we make the adjustments and the changes, we can see it applied directly to her eyes um, as we go. So I have my opacity set to 30%, and I'm just gonna use that, and we can um, you know, go over in, in several strokes if we need to get more of a stronger effect. So I'm just gonna paint this in, and it's definitely up to you whether or not you wanna go over the pupil. Um, I, I kind of experiment with both ways. Maybe I do like a, a little light adjustment over it, um, and then I don't go over it as strongly as the rest of the eye. Um, but the good thing about a layer mask is that as we make these adjustments and stuff, if we don't like the way this effect applies to a certain part, like maybe we went a little bit too far um, into the waterline of her eye or something like that, we can use the layer mask um, to bring that back or to remove any effect from a place that we don't want it. So I'm just gonna do both eyes here and you can zoom in as close as you want. Um, I'm not making a super technical adjustment here. I'm just kind of sweeping this in so we can see as we go. Um, again, it's up to you if you want to go over the pupil. Um, if you go over one, I would probably, you know, think it's a good idea to go over the pupil in the other eye as well. Um, and again, if you go too far, you can just flip your color back to black and just remove from any area that you don't like it. So if you don't like it over the pupil as we go, just set your color to black and remove it. So we are going to just zoom out a little bit here. And what you're gonna do after you have the, uh, um, the adjustment applied to the eye area, you're just gonna drag these sliders in here. So um, the hue, as you, you know, shift through here, it'll change the eye color. So you know, as you get to the greens and the blues, you'll notice that they're, they're actually very vibrant. So to make it more believable, you'll wanna adjust the saturation here by turning it down a little bit. Um, and another cool thing is that you can adjust the lightness. So if you want it to be like a light green eye, you can raise the lightness. Um, or, you know, if we were switching her eye color to brown, we'd go over here to like a warm color, um, put the saturation up a little bit, and then we can drag the lightness down to make it um, more of a deeper color. So you can drag the saturation up a little bit more if you want the brown to be stronger. Um, and again, just drag that lightness down to, to darken the eye color. And that's pretty much it. You can just slide through here, and as you change the color, adjust the saturation to make it believable, um, and the lightness as well, to whatever your preference is. So um, we're actually gonna do the same technique on the image of the girl with brown eyes. So I'm just gonna zoom in here, and she's at an angle here, so, um, but the technique works the same. So we're just gonna go to that um, half black, half white circle, hit hue saturation, hit colorize, make sure that box is checked, and then again, we're just gonna hit Control or Command I on our keyboards to invert that layer mask and remove the effect from the photo. So again, we're gonna grab our brush, um, make sure that it's set to white at 30% opacity or whatever opacity you prefer, and just paint this on. Now her eyes are already brown, so it might be a little hard to see uh, since the default color was sort of brownish. So if you need to drag that um, to a different color so that you can see what you're painting on, that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna sweep over these. 
And again, feel free to zoom in here and get as close as you want to make sure that your adjustment um, is perfect. You know, if a client, um, if you did this for someone who wanted their eye color changed and then they blew this image up really big, you wanna make sure that there's no mistakes. So here I can see that I went a little bit too far over her eyelashes. So I'm just gonna remove that. I just did that by switching my color to black and just painting it back off. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little, a little more maybe. Okay, so now in here, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. You can adjust the hue. Maybe we want her to have blue eyes. So we're gonna come over here to the blue range, um, increase the saturation. And since she has brown eyes, her eyes are naturally dark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the lightness to brighten up her eyes. So now with people with brown eyes, you're gonna to wanna to zoom in and um, if you adjust the lightness and just make sure the lightness can kind of make the color look hazy. So you're gonna to wanna to zoom in here and make sure that your color is set to black and just remove this from her pupil, maybe even remove it from, you know, make sure it's definitely not on the lash line. And you can just remove it from anywhere that it doesn't look good. So just take it off that pupil so that her eyes still looks, um, you know, like it doesn't look overly hazy and do the same with the other one. Okay, and just make sure you don't go over the white of the eye. Sometimes it's hard to tell, so it might not be too big of a deal, but um, it's always best to, to just be sure. And I think it went a little bit over her waterline there. I'm just gonna remove that. Okay, and um, again, if you want to switch your color back to white, and you can actually make this effect stronger. Like here I can see a little bit of the brown peeking through. You can just paint back over those spots here. Okay, so you can do that with both. If there's anywhere, um, I'm gonna adjust my opacity by putting it at 10%, and I'm gonna do that by hitting the one on my keyboard. And I'm just gonna sweep this over any areas that still look a little bit too brown. Okay, so zoom out. And I'm gonna bring the lightness down just a little bit. And there we go. So it's a pretty fun little trick to do, and it's it's not too hard. And the good thing is that you can do one layer and you can try a bunch of different colors and effects. Um, and with the hue slider, the saturation slider, and the lightness slider, there's a lot of different options. You can make bright eyes, light eyes, you know, there's, there's tons of different things that you can do. So I hope you have fun playing around with this. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.